Texas, particularly Central Texas, uh, the number of people with gallbladder problems in this part of the country, in some people's estimates, maybe two to three times higher than the, the national average. You can go to the internet and you can search and you can see all of these ideas about purging and flushing your gallbladder. They usually involve eating or drinking large amounts of citrus juice, like a lemon juice, maybe mixed with uh, some type of castor oil or olive oil, and you drink different combinations, and of course it makes you have bowel movements and supposedly you're passing your gallstones. Um, it's been a number of years ago that the American Journal of Surgery looked at this. They tried to look at, in a scientific way, they tried to look at, can you flush your gallbladder? and there's really no scientific evidence that it works at all. In fact, I've had a couple of patients who had moderate to severe symptoms, but really did not want to have surgery. So I agreed to follow them, knowing that they were healthy pretty much, except for their gallbladder problem. And these people along the way would do flushes, not me telling them to, but they would do it on their own and then maybe they'd have a severe attack and they would have a follow-up gallbladder ultrasound, which is standard of care to check the gallbladder from a couple for gallstones. And we would see that their gallstones would get larger, but they couldn't purge the gallbladder at all. Standard of care for gallbladder disease, whether you do it with an open incision, or a robotic technique, or a laparoscopic technique, the treatment is to remove the gallbladder. 